Spyro the Dragon released on September 9th. Wait, isn't this video about the Doom prototype? Spyro the Dragon's June 15th prototype was released to the public in 2020 by HWD45. And in this video, I'm going to point out the interesting changes from the prototype to the final release. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. The first difference we're going to take a look at are some of the level design changes that were either cut completely or changed before the final release, such as the fountains and the hills in Town Square, or the entire cut out cave in the Magic Carthus homeworld, and there are many more in this prototype to find and explore. Another change from the original release are the crystallized dragons. The ones inside the levels themselves don't have any cutscenes yet. There's a pop-up text box of what they would say. Although in the homeworld, dragons have completely different colors with more vibrant palettes and more expressive animations compared to their retail release. Take a look at these side-by-sides. Thank you for releasing me. Free the dragons in the artisan world, then seek out the balloons. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? That's all I can tell you. In my opinion, the prototype dragons are better. Although with the limited disk space on the CDs and the resource limitations the PS1 had, having less expressions than all 80 dragons in the game was the right call to make, but it is still cool to see what could have been. Any experienced Spyro player would immediately notice the changes in the movement and camera controls between the prototype and the full release. Here is a comparison between the two. Right. Overall, the controls are less refined and at some points, such as high caves, they feel like the horrid Japanese release. I can make a whole video on that version of the game. The tweaks they made to the controls were for the better, and made the full release play a hundred times better than this prototype. There was a fully cut feature from the full release. In the level blowhard, the prototype level starts out with a cutscene, and then a text box saying, the boss seems to keep his magic under his hat. And then you see blowhard put hats on all the big wizard enemies, and when you flame them, the hats fall off, revealing a ball patch, which honestly gave me a laugh. It makes the boss fight feel like an actual boss fight compared to any of the other bosses in the retail releases. In summary, the June 15th prototype showcases fascinating level design choices, control changes, and cut content that were altered for the final game. Whether you are a diehard Spyro fan or just curious about the game's history, this prototype is amazing to explore. If you found this video enjoyable, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you would like to see me go more in depth about all the Spyro prototypes available, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys all next time.